1987, with film studios ignoring his calls, the controversial filmmaker Sir Leslie Quint founded his own company, Polare Productions. Through Polare, Leslie finally released a new film, Slag, an expose of the day-to-day -day life of a prostitute. With Slag, I wanted to say that while prostitutes are grabby, grabby things, they are still people. And to this day, I think it's my finest work. But Leslie's comeback film didn't actually result in a comeback. Rejected by cinemas, Slag went straight to video, a fact that delighted the women's live, who had previously charged the film with blatant misogyny. Well, I was quite surprised by the aggression they had towards me, you know. I mean, I thought it was a very sympathetic portrait of a whore. Um, and, of course, it was all very messy because, you know, I mean, you can punch a critic, but you can't punch a member of the Women's Institute. The controversy surrounding Slag yielded one positive result. Though cinema audiences were disinterested in his work, he had re-established himself as a controversial public figure, and he was soon invited to become the food critic for the London Evening Standard. Well, by this time I had to diversify, and I had to make a bit of money. And so when the Evening Standard approached me to, to discuss a story involving me and a young chap, I, I said, oh, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about food and they hired me. Leslie spared no feelings in his column, and his manner was often brusque when dining. In 1990, he was forcibly ejected from the Ivy for reasons altogether unclear. They'd given me a fork which was slightly smaller than the knife, and, uh, you know, I cannot stand imbalanced cutlery. So I said things, and they said things, and I threw things, and they threw me out. Now, in the twilight of his years, Leslie still yearns to make one last film, in the hope it will cement his legacy in the pantheon of great directors. I still think I have one film left in me, and I'm hoping that it will be the definitive work of the 21st century. Uh, it hasn't got a title, but I think audiences and critics alike will be enraptured by the way I've blended animals, live music, and strobe lighting. Ultimately, though, it is Sir Leslie Quint's life that is perhaps his greatest work. It's my hope that this documentary will put pay to the naysayers and the poo-pooers um, and realize that you simply can't bottle lightning. Uh, I know there are people out there who are fans of my work, and when I find them, well, we'll have a long, good laugh.